let's just just redeploy back to the walk gate. Uh, back to the thing and get a, another one. Don't walk. Oh, I guess you can watch from the ground for now. Just just everyone get out of your revers <laughs> if you're on the ground. You can watch as I do the example. So we get with me on the sledge here. Button. We'll watch as I come. The experienced instructors. Yay! Uh, one guys. All right, is everyone is there? Good... So the whole idea of this is taking out Sundays, or actually strafing runs in general. It kind of depends on what you're doing. But everyone yeah. knows Sundays are, for the most part, going to be heavily guarded by that um, was not me. black and all that stuff. So you kind of want to, you're going to want to pick where you come from before you do anything. And usually it's behind the enemy that you want to come from. And if they're in a rock face like this one currently is, Guys. you're going to want to go parallel to the rock face Stop here. shooting. <laughs> Should come along by it. So that way, I just earlier ran into the rock because I went perpendicular to the rock face. And it sucks. But if we could line up. Yeah, I made this interesting somehow. Just basically, this is going to be a follow the leader scenario. And you're just going to follow the leader. He goes in. Unloads rockets and then kind of afterburns out. It's fairly simple. But it's a little bit more complicated than you would think because you have to actually time when you start shooting. So that way you can get as many uh, rockets off as you can. Z killer. Oh, is my thing also coming through? Are you still talking? There we go. Yes. Are you still talking over uh, Twitch chat? Yes. And okay, I think my sound died then. Yeah, well, yes. Okay. Hold right. on. And so that's basically just the general idea of it. It's pretty simple, not anything complicated. And one of the ideas with it is the first person to go in will take off on the right. Will once they hit the Sunday. They'll break off toward the right, and then the second person will break off toward the left, the third will break off toward the right, the fourth will break off toward the left, so on and so forth, alternating each time. So you just watch what the person in front of you does, and you do the opposite. That way you don't hit each other. I recommend, uh, wait, when you're leading, like, uh, the strafing run calling your shot and then you know that way you're all deploying your rockets at the same time and getting the most dps as possible yeah. a lot of this is about sustained dps because people try to repair these sundays and there's going to be a lot of engineers there and if you can hit it hard once then you're more likely to take it off yeah you give me a reaver do you want to all have everyone attack my sunday it's in the open should be an easy target yeah, that's the general idea. So, so if we could go ahead and get everyone on the rear reavers. Everyone get your reavers, guys. Have a try at this. I gotta go get mine. The key here is to kind of learn when to unload your rockets. When to start unloading. Well, that way you can get as many as you can off. And to not slow down, because that's what's going to get you killed by the rockets yeah. and the, uh, and the flak. And the whole point is that you don't actually need rocket pods when you have enough reavers using coordinated fire. That you can just rotary it down really quickly, if you do it coordinatedly. <laughs> what rim shot? <laughs> oh, I'm watching from there. This makes it easy. So if everyone could get up in the air, flying and such, but not crashing into each other. 
It's okay, I've already gotten that out of the way. <laughs> Remember, you want to follow on Dick's uh, six. So if we could get everybody behind me, in a kind of a line. I am the Endar Colored Reaver. The two sexy devil horns on it. Call them devil horns because they don't look anything like devil horns, but that sounds cooler than anything else I could have thought of. Which is as good a reason as any. It is, isn't it? So who all have we got behind? Indubitably. We have three people behind. Four. Snooze. Yeah, it should be enough for now. If you all just follow with me, and then you just hit the target. Dude, that was close. So how many people actually hit you there, Amnesiac? I'm not sure. The first round I was actually inside it, gunning. Just to give you a good feel. You're inside gunning. Do you see anything, Boomshot? Um... It looked like everybody got hits on it. Uh... Whoever was last Whoever was... actually attacked the uh, other Sundra. So... Uh, yeah. Oh, really? And Snooze is still on the ground. It's one of the things you want to watch. You gotta keep watching who, they're, what they're attacking. Yeah, if you're too far behind and you don't know where they're shooting, then your damage output is also gonna be too spread out anyway. Yeah. All right. I'll stay outside this time. I think. Huh? Sorry. What was that? I was just going to respond to real parts, Amy. I just think that's a practice thing. You got to really get, um, you know, yourself comfortable going in and out of first person to kind of fine tune the aim. And then once you figure that out, uh, it all kind of falls into place with experience. It didn't fall. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and run on it and make sure you hit the same target that I do. So that's pretty important. Oh, oh binary. Oh, I'm bad at this. That's Ooh. tough. Alright, so except for the people uh, rushing, uh, those what? first two following straight behind Dick, you guys flying in side by side, actually it was quite effective. Yeah, that was nice, I really like that. This is why I'm in front of Binary, you were just, uh, Binary, you were too high on your aim at first, and you overcorrected down, and it put you in the ground. Yeah. I also gotta look out for this. And, uh, Ropart, you just came in too low. And you hit that tree. Now, what you should take in consideration here is that there's lots of, uh, paths that you can take here without you actually having to fly into trees at any point. You should, you should think about that when you're coming in. Like, should I fly this route or the other route? Which one yeah. makes yeah. it less likely I fly into a tree? Yeah, try and put yourself on an angle where it get kind of a feel for how long it get, takes to get your 12 rockets out and ensure you have another 100 meters between you and the ground on that last rocket. You want to start on a slope. Plus you can always, if you're still being accurate at that range, you can always, and you use all your rockets, you can just switch to your nose gun and start firing it like that as well. Yeah, it's a beautiful oh. thing when you've lined it up far away and you can flip over like that. Also, I'd, it seems pretty, you know, basic, but 
you want to hold space, and uh, there probably a few of you might not actually think of this. You want to hold space while you're doing this, because you want to keep yourself off of the ground, because the ground's not a very happy thing to hit. Nope. As binary, I'm just out. Except I think that was. Oh my god. Yeah, when you're in first person, they recently changed the altitude meter so it shows your distance to the ground instead of sea level, so you might find that helpful if you see that plummeting. Yeah. Let's go all the way up behind. Uh, we can go with this. So everyone will just follow me. That was much better rope art. Much better rope art. That was beautiful. Dick much better control there, man. <laughs> Dick made him crash. Oh, uh, you held that line oh, a lot better. Probably could have, uh, if you had, you probably could have started shooting a little bit earlier, but it was good uh, entrance line. Alright, does anyone need ammo? Because I know I do. You need ammo, go ahead and get it now. And everyone else? I don't think you guys crashed. That seemed quite fine. Yeah, that was pretty solid. Although, I know, I would just say, you can, uh, you can slow yourself down while you're coming in, so you don't come in so hot and cut it close. You're still kind of pretty close to the ground there. But it'll you good. can always, uh... What's it, you can always change your angle. I, mean, I, I, I wasn't paying attention to the ways you guys left the uh, run, though. Usually, you'd want to designate a... Uh, a meetup point after you finish the run so you can regroup again and go for another run. Yeah. So let's actually do that this time. We're gonna do two runs. What we're gonna do is I'll go in first, everyone will follow behind me. Yeah, I'll break off right, the guy behind me breaks off left, the next guy does right, that type of stuff, and then we meet back up here at the squad waypoint and get ready for another run. Right after. So, almost got people. And if you get hit by my rocket, you're probably flying too low or too slow. Alright, so just follow me. Oh. And remember to come back to the squad waypoint and line up behind me. Uh, guys, you see what the problem was there? You came in behind the tree. There's this gap here where I'm standing now. If you look where I'm standing, oh, I'm bad at this. if you come in through here, this. where I am, there's a much larger gap that you can completely avoid the tree. And there's also, if you keep going straight, your only thing to stop you is that big rock face, like pretty far behind the Sunday. So you have lots of room to turn and come out again and escape from the Sunday. It's killer dogs. Okay, if you come in, if you come in through the tree, so. then you have to go up, down, hit the Sunday, and then there's another tree right behind the Sunday again that you have to worry about. Uh, for row part, is there any way you can increase how much I can see? And when you're first person, not really. You can only see what you can see in first person. Yeah, third person. You switch to third, then you can see quite a bit more, but at the same time for doing this, you have to aim down the sights. I mean, you have to do it's first person shooting. When you start flying a lot, you in first person, you can kind of judge how far your wings are. Assuming that's what you would like to see, like, first person. You don't clip something with your wings. Just something that comes with experience. Alright, this time I'm gonna do it again. And then uh, try to get back to the squad waypoint and I'll do another run without actually saying anything about it. So we're gonna go ahead and go. Germanus, are you in a division? 
Watch yeah, better, guys. Good. Oh, okay. And he'll come back through and hit the sunny. See <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, once again. <laughs> Could have, could have think about the way you're coming in, because otherwise you're gonna hit into that tree. Oh my god, I'm getting one second to myself. So I haven't been able, I haven't been able to participate so far. That's cool. Any comments, thoughts, Amnesiac? Uh, the crashing part. I really gotta stress the uh, think about the way you're coming in. But otherwise, you guys are doing the. Pr you're pretty good at uh, rolling out after the attack, and you're definitely not slowing down too much, which is great. So you think we pretty um, much are good yeah. on this part? There, just I mean, one thing. Do you want me to move it to somewhere harder? Uh, oh god! I, I noticed when you exited the area, if you go a different way, and you can't just keep following Dick. Make sure that you get back to the regroup point and are ready to do the round again. Because I know the uh, two people that went off to the left kind of fell out over that second run that you did. I came in on the second and then I crashed into a tree. Don't do that either. Yeah. Why don't you let someone else be determine the uh, the the approach for this. Uh, let's see your show. That could work. Could pick binary because he seems to be so uh, adapted to doing Good this idea. right now. <laughs> I'm frontline man. <laughs> Don't move into me. Uh, I, we could pick rope art. Whoever whoever keeps flying into the stuff the most, I think maybe it's actually binary. <laughs> Alright, binary. Oh god, You're you don't going want this. To take lead. Why? So you have to decide the way coming into the, uh, you're attacking into the Sunday, the approach. Alright, where's the Sunday? And the exit. On me, on my point. It's at the spot waypoint. Oh. So. So everyone line up behind binary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. let me look or... around first. <laughs> <laughs> this... During the battle, uh, during battle, you're not gonna get to look a whole lot. It's the white Sunday. Well, I mean, the point. one at the squad waypoint. During battle, I'm never gonna be leading this. I just was doing this for the occasional yeah. time I pulled into it. Yeah. Um, but. For this Sunday, it's going to be very difficult to hit from this with the tree and all the rocks in it. So the likelihood is you're not going to be able to get all 12 rockets off, and that's okay. Because it's just going to be way too difficult to. Yeah, I, you probably want to come from the uh, I south, don't. just like straight south. Come in from the straight south and break off early, because otherwise you're not going to be able to avoid that tree and the rock face. Yeah, I, I, I just got killed by said tree and said rock face. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Well, Here. Boom, if you want to keep looking at the entry and stuff, I'll look at the exit again. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll actually keep with binary as a um, lead. It's good practice, man. It's good practice. I got you. Probably driving everyone to lead, I guess, just to let everyone have a shot. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. The love tap. Reckless. <laughs> Hope you have auto repair on that thing, robot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about we attack it from this look, from this direction? Alright. I'd say that's the best way. And then pull out early. 
Otherwise, you can hit into the tree. <laughs> a lot early. And then fuck my face. Sir, everyone line up behind binary. He is leading in this approach. You have no idea what you've just unleashed. Is that the squad waypoint? Come on, everyone. Squad waypoint behind binary. Back where I am. Looks like it. Let's go ahead and go. Sweet. That's a tree. <laughs> well, pull up before you get below the tree. I know I accidentally clicked a sensitivity oh, stage on my map on my mouse, and that kind of messed me up. Oh, that was so good, Peter. Until you ran into the rock. I know. Nice uh, dropping from 8200 yeah, DPI uh, to Everyone that didn't right crash into the tree or into the rock above, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This one is that was kind literally of the, the perfect way to do it. And uh, who crashed into the uh, the rock face but known to the tree? I think that was Peter. Peter <laughs> the rock me. crashed into me. Yeah, so that was. Uh, you had the right idea, definitely. And that was good rope as well. Maybe just a little bit too fast, or you could start shooting a little bit earlier, but... I like yeah, the one where... It, good. I think it was Ropart and Snooze came in and... Actually, it might have been uh, Pitter was there oh, also, Oh wow, but... Ropart, that was great! That last one, yeah. You're, you're doing some good flying right now. Should join our group. One of us. One of us. Hey, so I'm actually, Ropart. Secret air squads. Let's let's actually get Ropart to lead this time. Yeah, Ropart, that's the next yep. training coming up. You're here. You're in the right I'm place, gonna, bro. I'm gonna move to Sunday again. And let Ropart right. decide where we're gonna hit. To be totally honest, I originally read the training as a Sunderer training. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a hunt, well, Sunday hunting dream. Yeah. Strafing. That's that a big ambiguous strafing. Right? I read the word Sunderer. So, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Alright, everyone everyone behind Ropart. He's doing this uh, approach. Where'd you put it? So, everyone find Ropart and just follow him around. And he is the one that's it's underneath the overhanging. He's the one that's yeah. burning. Right next to the village. Now this one's gonna be uh, pretty difficult because you've got to thread the needle when you come out. Kinda. I'm gonna crash. Yeah. Now think about this robot. Where's the approach that you want to get everyone to go through? This is also compounded by the effect that my uh, caps slack button, which I use for push to talk, is right next to shift. <laughs> Let me repay you. Man, just, just land and I'll repay you. <laughs> this is another example of why you want to, uh, why you want to run auto repair on your Reaver. Yeah. Especially with a group, <laughs> uh, with large groups of people. Yeah. Oh, we're ready. When... Alright, go ahead.
I was pushed. <laughs> oh my god. Now there, I think you're actually missing where the Sunday is. I accidentally clicked E. Okay. Uh, everybody except for Peter didn't hit the Sunday. And yeah, nobody hit it. Peter hit it. It's Peter underneath the, the form. The Sunday. It's underneath yeah, the yeah. Um, rock. On the other hand, everyone except for when um, Snooze slightly clipped it, and then he like clipped binary, and that messed up his approach. But and I was really excited because I was gonna make it. Everyone else, oh, you guys actually so went in very well. That's why I crashed. Yeah. That was you guys went through and then die, which is an important thing. So, as far as coming here, Ropart, I would probably suggest coming from underneath this arch here. There, this kind of rock outcrop here, and going between the rock and the tree, and then hitting the Sunday. That would be okay. I think I would actually recommend going from the south because this is a blockade Sunday and attacking from the rear will actually make it take the least damage. That's true, but a lot of times you can't tell that from... Uh... Yeah. yeah, that's true. Good flying, you just... you only just didn't hit it there, robot. Anyway, land and I'll repay you. Or oh, whatever. <laughs> Next person? Good stuff. Dick, do you want to do the next person or? Alright, let's do uh, Pitter this time. We'll move the Sunday and then. Or do we want to move the Sunday? Yeah, I'm AFK for 30 more seconds. I think we should move the Sunday or not? I think, I think, I think so. I mean, it. Uh, I mean, it helps yeah. us actually figure out where they have to come from. Yeah. Is an interesting one. So this is gonna be a little bit difficult for you guys. Just a little bit. Pitta, you're leading the uh, the squad for now. So you decide which way we come from, or which way everyone else comes from. So everyone regroup on Pitta. He's number five. Looks like he's to the uh, west, quite far away. I am five. West. So, Byron? <laughs> Snooze. Everyone head to the west and get him to number five. This one actually has multiple far ways west. you can go from. Mm hmm. But it's actually a very small uh, area to hit, unless you're going high, high and then... There's two... Much the... I, I can see two ways to go from, and that's it. Yeah, pretty much just like high and uh, parallel to the cliff face is the only really good one. Yeah. Alright, starting run. It looked pretty well done. Okay. Uh, that was a I don't good think run. they were hitting the sun. With the exception of that we didn't really land hits on the sun. But that's okay, because it's a very uh, small target right now. It's very hidden inside the rocks there. So I say try Just again. Don't aim for the squad waypoint, aim for the sunday. And thermal optics might help if you get that close. Oh, close. 
this, Ooh. man. Uh... Do be careful about trying to, sh you know, shave it, I guess you could say. Trying to do, like, as close as you can, but not hit it. Like, hit the rock and stuff. Yeah, you it's can best go... to be safe. Yeah. The biggest part of making, having an air squad is staying alive and keeping up your pressure. Because it's so expensive and takes so long to get back up again. Now that was nice. Those last two there were very good. So that was binary and... I'm sure One of them was boom binary. shot. User yeah, I finally challenge. found the Sunderer. Yeah, well, I got <laughs> That was pretty much that was pretty much as good as boom shots uh, binary, and he's the division leader for air. I'm trying to open up another squad right now. That one was good as well. Uh, binary again, I think. Oh yeah, that was binary. Yep. Uh, who's next? If you switch. All right, let's switch to seven. Shamanus. I'm not sure how to say that name. I think that's Jimena. Jimena. Uh, we're gonna move the Sunday. He's good. He's already in Spec Ops. Been watching uh, you, Jimena. <laughs> Got my eye on you, man. <laughs> You might be able to make right. it tip. I mean, it's, it, it makes them choose the direction, because some directions are really hard here, but one of them is like really easy. Alright, Sunday is on the squad waypoint. Such a menace. You're leading it. Everyone from up behind number seven. Everyone behind number seven. I think a few. Ah, uh, looks like we're good. Alright, messing around. Alright. Let's see it, Jamais. I just hit E again, so... <laughs> I want to bind that to a different... Uh, key yeah, you want to bind that to a different bug. Especially when you're flying. Oh, yeah, but, that was pretty solid, awesome. everyone. The only thing I have to say, guys, is... Uh, after this is done, or you know, whatever... Just hop in VR, grab a Reaver, and just start shooting at the Sundays that are sitting around, and just practice your targeting. Also, I think that's it. To do yeah, like I think we're I think we're good then. I'm gonna go on to the next training. Up. Like along this uh, east right. wall, it's too small. Uh, there are paths that you can go under. All right, so we're gonna start the reverse maneuver training now, I guess. Now, squad lead. So the first thing first, guys, I want you guys all to land or whatever and get it into your uh, controls. Yeah, your control settings, alright? I want to set a squad waypoint or something for where them to land or just something like that. That uh, doesn't really... Just... The important thing, guys, I want you guys to open up your, uh, your settings menu. That's the first thing we have to do for this lesson. First things first, and everyone has to do this, because otherwise it won't work. 
So when you guys open up your settings, click on the setting, so press escape, click on settings at the bottom right, go to key bindings tab on the left, go to aircraft, that's the top right tab, and then I want you to scroll down until you get to pitch down and pitch up. And I want you to bind the button for each of those that's on the keyboard or on your mouse. So it should say up, down, and it should also give you a a keyboard number or a mouse button or something. Okay? So I want everyone to tell me when they've done that and bind it a button. Personally, I have three for pitch up and four for pitch down. And you can't do this training without it. Yeah, just, the point uh, of this is that it lets you... Uh, it lets you pitch like at maximum speed just by holding down that button, which is very good for when you're flying. It's also necessary to make this training a lot simpler and to do the maneuver more easily. I'd say once you've bound it, let us know in the squad chat. Say yeah, bound or yeah, whatever. So no row parts got it. Everyone else, tell me when you've bound your button to to the pitch up, pitch down. Everyone else? Okay, so Pitta, uh, binary. Okay, now I think, yeah, I think Pitta and Heavy Arm. You guys are doing Heavy Arm's doing less now, left now, I think. Hey, go ahead, I'm looking for something I don't have bound to. It's reasonably easy to reach. Yeah, I mean, you don't actually use the uh, the number buttons when you're flying, so you actually can use 3 and 4 and 5 and 6, which is what I use. Uh, let's... Q&E. Yeah, How are, are you going to spot them? Those are fairly oh. <laughs> I have spot set to Q and E. <laughs> and uh, pitch up. Really? That gets complicated. Yep. If you spot pitch Q and up pitch yeah. down, that yeah, gets really common. Would... You could stick yeah. like spot to the middle of mouse button or something if you want. Yeah. I, was, I have a, a numpad to the left of my pinky. I'll probably set spot to three. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's have, let's get everyone to land over at the squad waypoint. Hop out, and we'll watch Dick go through the maneuver on foot. We'll watch him do the maneuver. To follow my steps and I'll tell you how to do it it's quite simple so everyone just regroup with me land, land go on foot go over here where I'm standing and we'll watch him execute the maneuver for first perfectly execute it perfectly that's right <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably gonna hit a rock or something <laughs> Well, you don't have to take a plane to get that, but I mean, probably, because you're going to need a plane anyway. So everyone, just get on foot over here, Brian. Germanus, just hop over here. Alright, there's... A rope part. Essentially, there's only four... Oh, sorry. Yeah, four steps to the reverse maneuver. And they're all quite simple, and all you have to do is just hold down a button for each of them to happen. So, I want you guys all to look at uh, Dick, who's flying to the north. Now, the three steps are uh, you hold down S until your, verse, until your thrusters stop. So, as you. Can you fly a bit lower, Dick, so we can see? So, we can, we can see, them, see them switch. Uh, get yeah, just as close to the ground as you can, really. Safely. Probably so switch to forward I'd... thrusters first. Alright, so you see how his wings go forwards like that? They're going horizontal now. Do you see that? That means your thrusters are going, like, horizontally. 
when you slow down to a stop or slow enough to do the maneuver, your wings will go vertical and your thrusters will also start pointing down. As you can see, yeah, there you go, they changed and now it's just hovering. And you can do that kind of stuff. Alright, so the first step is to slow down until your thrusters change. Then, then you hold down space. Then you hold down pitch down. And then you start, and then you see how he's, he's looping like that. Then you hold down afterburner. Except you don't run <laughs> into a die. tree like that. Like that. Yeah, so the four steps are hold S. You're supposed to, you have to do all these at once. You have to hold S, hold spacebar, hold pitch down, and then hold afterburner. Huh. And we're going to start this first by flying up into the higher up in the air. So everyone get back in your reavers and fly up towards the ceiling. Not the whole ceiling, but high, up, high enough to the ceiling, almost. So, once you get to about, uh, you know, 450 meters on your thing, just hold down S, hold down space, hold down pitch down, and then start after burning. And you, stood sp you should spin around in a circle. Like a vertical loop-de-loop, -loop, basically, while flying backwards. Alright guys, start watching them. Pick someone to watch and, yeah. And yeah, you're gonna die for the first couple of times. Alright, that's pretty cool. But the important thing is that you recognize how to actually engage the maneuver and what it looks like when you're actually doing it. So the important things are your, your thrusters have to be in the vertical position. Oh, you down. had it there. Yes, but you have to keep pitching down and you have to keep holding space and burst and uh, boost. Or you have to burn I would suggest actually maybe going to 400 because otherwise you might hit the ceiling. Yeah. Just just get enough room so you don't, when you're doing it, you don't crash into the ground or into the ceiling. And just keep, just keep doing it. Hold S until you stop. It's just hold S, hold space, hold pitch down, and then hold after dinner. You have to hold them all at once, all four buttons. And you Rope part, you were doing it until you crashed. Damn it! Turn to the ceiling. Yeah, the ceiling is only like 500 above VR now. Now, basically, the whole point of this is that you basically learn this trick, and it's a very good trick. It's pretty much the trick that determines a novice pilot from a intermediate pilot. It's just it's just knowing how to do this trick. Actually, using it and practicing it and knowing how to use it is a lot harder to teach. So, uh, just recognize what it looks like when you're doing it, and how to actually start it, and just try and use it whenever you're flying in game. Uh, Germanus, you need to get your thrusters down before you start anything else. Binary. Yeah. So make sure you can't do it five times in a row. Four steps. Just remember them. Hold down S until different. you stop. There you go. Hold down space. Hold down pitch down, and then hold down the boost. And if your thrusters switch to going forwards again, then you haven't been pitching down enough, or you or you stop holding S. There you go, that's it. I think your thrusters went back to forward. And it just takes some getting used to. Yeah. It's a very powerful maneuver though, so just keep practicing. That's full yeah, 360 that's... turn, right? Damn it. Oh, and just a, 
advising, you also want to use hover stability frame. Because it gives you the best braking and it gives you the uh it gives you the uh best vertical thrust. Uh where are you, Ray Potter? I'm just looking for you. I'll try and Better just got it. You. I see you, man. Okay. Try it again now, Ray Potter. I'll tell you if you're doing it right. Hey that's 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 perfect, man. That's perfect, that's great. You see how he did a th like a, a vertical like 180 really really quickly? That's the whole point of the maneuver. That's the fastest method of turning in the game. Let's see. Yeah, idea that's absolutely there. right. Repot. Okay. Well, that pretty much is actually the lesson. Uh, does anyone have any questions? You're gorgeous, darling. Wow. <laughs> Any other questions? No? Alright, so I think the two things everyone has to remember here is... Um, practice both of the these things that we taught you. Try and use both of them as well. Um, another thing to remember the reverse maneuver is hover stability frame and actually having the external afterburners means you can do a lot longer uh, like boosts when you're doing the reverse maneuver so you actually can extend it and go a lot further. Other than that, yeah. I think we are done. Hope you guys all found this helpful. Uh, also, one key bind that I like to make the analog thrust. That does is it kills your thrusters, so it's essentially like holding us. I like using it, but I don't know if Ishiak does or not, but right. I find it helpful. No, personally, I don't use that. Alright, we're done. You can keep practicing now, but I'm going to close down the squad. Or rather... Oh, uh, uh... It basically has the same effect as holding down S. Yeah. You press it, and it's basically just like holding down S. And you can just let go of it, and you're holding down S until you press it again, in which case basically like, toggles uh, S. Yeah, you th yeah, S. Uh, it's, it's literally the same effect as holding down S, which I find, I, you just, you, I just hold down S when I want to do it, but I know some people like to hold down, just to press a button has the same effect. Alright, I think that is it. So I'm gonna let you guys keep practicing together if you want. I'm gonna leave the squad. Thank you. Thank you for coming, guys. Okay. Good times. Repart, you came a long way today. Well, how do you feel that one? Yay. No, pretty well. Where are we going?